Hi everyone, welcome back to the Celebrity Status Channel. Please like and subscribe. Little people, big world fans see Matt Roloff happy with Karin Chandler so will he propose soon? He got some pointers recently about a clever idea for a proposal. Matt Roloff go official with Karin Chandler in March 2017 and on their TLC show in season 17. However, it appears they've been dating since 2016. When asked about their status, Karin confirmed Matt hasn't asked her to marry him. And he joked once they wouldn't marry until 2022 or later. But he's now building them a dream house on the farm property. Fans are divided on this couple. Some love them as a pair and others want him back with Amy. But now that Amy Roloff married Chris Marek, it's clear there's no going back. So, when do we get another Roloff proposal? In a recent cameo video, Matt Roloff heard a funny proposal story. On the Made for Fans video, he relayed a story where a guy shoved the engagement ring between the seat cushions in a booth at Moe's Eatery. Then, he told his girlfriend to look for crumbs and that's how she got her ring. Matt laughed and said, that's good. That's real good. I've got to take some lessons from you, take some notes on. So, if Matt's getting proposal lessons does that mean he's planning on proposing to Karin? Some fans grilled Matt and told him to be sure to get a prenup before they get hitched. But then Matt clapped back and said Corinth worth three times what he is and that he hopes she lets him sneak by. That sounds like another wedding end. On other hand, Matt Roloff alienated Zach Roloff over the failed farm purchase, but he assures fans they've reconciled. When Zach offered to buy the farm, money was a concern for his dad. And they disagreed from the get-go on what was a fair price. Matt Roloff said his son came in real hot. He said his son made demands and didn't come prepared to negotiate. Those tense scenes also feature Tori Roloff and Karen Chandler. And the latter's presence really irritated his son. In addition to watching the father-son feud on the TLC series, they got into a war of words online as well. And Amy Roloff's been strictly team Zach while her husband, Chris Marek, took a more balanced approach to the family battle. At one point, Jeremy was also interested in the farm. And his dad seemed to think his oldest boys should have combined their efforts. Things were so tense after the farm sale talks fell apart that an upset Zach Roloff moved out of state. He and Tori left Oregon and moved about an hour away to Battleground, Washington. And he even had Jackson Roloff break the news to his granddad. After that feud, the LPBW season was fractured. There's little interaction between the couples. Both sides expressed dissatisfaction since they'd all been close before. Often, Karin and Matt babysat Jackson and Lila Roloff. That's all done now. However, in a recent video made for fans, Matt offered some great news about his relationship with Zach. He said, I just spent time with Zach, so we're getting all the relationships back in order on our side. He said, you can take a deep breath on that. So, if you were worried that Mad Roloff would be permanently estranged from Zach Roloff over this farm friction, you can relax. <laughs> 